Austin Scal. He is one of the, I guess, biggest brands now in uh, sort of a resurgence of flag caps, but is a $52 cap worth it? Stick around and find out. Welcome everybody returning to my roots. It's been a while since we've done one of these unboxing uh, reviews. This is actually how I started my channel. So it's kind of fun. Had a box here of three hats from Boston Scally. And Boston Scally is the number one, I would say. Maybe not number one. I don't know. But a flat cap. Flat caps have made a total and complete resurgence. Um, and they are maybe a good option. We're going to find out. So first off, I thought that I would rise to the challenge. I have a particular knack slash history of buying stupid hats. In fact, I have one right here. This is a fedora made in Italy, usually $130. Um, I have repertoire of a lot of other crazy hats. I love hats. You can look at some of my role play videos um, for that if you want to see more. And I've always talked about flat caps as sort of the pinnacle of a mix between working and dress. I'm wearing a suit pretty much every day. Can't have baseball caps. Don't always want to wear a fedora, especially if it's casual. So, I mean, I've had these sort of like real like flimsy um you know just five dollar flat caps you put them on they don't fit your head like they just they belong in the garbage quite frankly and if i like flat caps i'm gonna wear a flat cap i wear a newsboy cap which has the eight panels and this is kind of like your medium of finding something that is fashionable but also um, a little casual as well. Why do I say that? Why do I say this about flat caps? Why do I say this about my questionable um, hat purchases? It's because these things are $52 a piece and what makes them different? Are they from Italy? Are they from this? Are they from that? No, I think they're built like in the same factories as a lot of these other hats that I have. So what makes them $52 plus shipping? Because they don't have free shipping. They rarely run sales. And I've seen people go wild for these caps. I've seen cold followings of these things where you can't see anything bad about them. People love them. I just saw one guy that spent like twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 just in accumulating these caps absolutely insane um but i wanted to see for myself so obviously well maybe not obviously but this is not a paid advertisement i bought these with my own money i don't think boston scally does stuff like this i don't think they send anybody anything for free <laughs> so i'm kind of coming in a little bit biased but let's go ahead and unbox it and see what it looks like okay so as you can see, right there, you have the Boston Scally tape. Um, other than that, First impression, you know, I like the like the artwork. This is the the Blood Rose Peaky, and uh, I like the artwork that they have in there. Kind of a nice bill. It's got hair on it already. Maybe that's. I think that's just for me. And then I got this. Insert. And then this. kind of cool. The next one. So I wanted a replacement 
for my uh, sort of Peaky Blinders um, eight panel sort of cap, just the classic, really, you know, just the classic cap. Uh, Boston Scully, as you see right there, it's got a covered up visor, it doesn't have the fancy visor, but it, this is from their, their Peaky line. The last one here. This is. I like this one the best already. Got a tag right there. And this is from the. Uh, their bare knuckle. Bare knuckle line. And, uh, that's pretty cool. Let's, uh, let's dive down and check them out. All right, so first impression, not the greatest. Um, they actually gave me my tracking information three days late, and whenever I pulled up the tracking information, it had already been delivered. Uh, Open the box, and the hats aren't wrapped in anything. The only thing that's holding them together is this, which I think doubles add is just a UPC code, which makes good noises, <laughs> but uh, not the best for shipping hats. So anyways, I got my hats here. I got my standard kind of cheap newsboy cap that I want to compare the two. Um, so let's just go with this. This is the first one. This is all from different collections. So this is from the um, the Blood Rose line right here. And it's pretty, you know, it's nice. It's a nice color. And you look in there, you see the, the Blood Rose. The first thing that you notice here is that these are not fit to be newsboys. These are fit to be ivy caps, and there's a big difference between ivy caps, newsboys, driver's caps. Driver's caps have a very pronounced brim on them. Ivy caps is kind of what this is. Um, ivy cap has a very pronounced, um, I guess, brim as well, folding inward. It's more of a cone, if you can imagine, whereas a driving cap is more of a square. Um, and then you have a newsboy, and a newsboy is just different altogether. And you can see what I mean there. It's, it's very, it's very different. Uh, the button sits up much higher, and uh, for lack of better words, when you're wearing a newsboy, it kind of sits like a pancake. <laughs> There's hair everywhere. Uh, it kind of fits like a pancake. It kind of just, you have some folding over the sides. It kind of looks like, like a chef hat. Um, this is a, a true, true newsboy hat. Um, you have, you know, the, the front, um, covered front, and 100% wool. Actually, this might be a wool cashmere uh, blend. But this right here, it's not, it's not a newsboy. It's kind of um, a bit of a hybrid. So let's try it on. Yeah, it's absolutely so. You got much more of a an ivy style cap. Another thing that you have here, even though this is a newsboy, you don't have the pancake fold over kind of uh, chef hat kind of thing. And then it also goes a little further in the back, but I really like it. It fits really good and it definitely feels feels pretty good so this is the the blood rose but it's also from the the peaky edition so i wanted to get something that was a little bit off and i've tried these hats before in newsboys and i've tried them in the leather and i don't like them i return them i mean it's i'm very picky when it comes to these uh, uh, i don't know why and then here we go this is i guess kind of the uh, dollars for donuts right apples and apples so you just have, it's very, very different. It's very different than a newsboy. This is not, not your classic, classic newsboy shape. Again, this, it's like a pancake. This is a classic newsboy. Then you have this. And this 
is much more forward, much more aggressive, much more Ivy Cap esque, and much more form fitting, I guess you could say. Let's try this. Let's take the brim. Let's pinch it a little bit. Pinch the brim. And now you can put it on. And now it looks even more, I don't want to use the word aggressive, but um, more of that sort of, I guess, Bostonian kind of, you know, forward, um, <laughs> chic, modern sort of um, Boondock Saints-ish esque. Keep saying esque and ish. And anyways, I like them, but um, they're much lighter. They're much lighter. So if we look at the the tag here, it doesn't really tell us anything about it too much. Um, this is 90% polyester, 10% wool, and was made in China. If you can see that. So it's a poly wool mix, which means in layman's terms, typically cheap, 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 cheap. Uh, whereas this, this is a poly wool mix actually as well. Um, but this is 60% wool, which is much heavier. Um, hats, traditional hats, 100% um, wool a lot of times as well. So uh, let's go to the next one. So this is the last one. And this is from the bare knuckle collection which i love their their uh, screen printing in here man i really do i think that i think that's honestly the coolest part but that's kind of a problem because people are never going to see it although to be fair whenever you go in and set your hat down usually you do set it with the cap side up so i guess people might get to to, to view it let's try this on Yeah, so I like the fact that uh, that all of them fit. Um, don't have to mess around with the sizes. But this is a um, let's see, one, two, this is four. This is a one, two. This is a six panel, six panel, much more of a traditional ivy shape. Um, yeah, so let's just compare let's get right down to it is this worth 52 dollars that's a lot of money per hat per headwear um i don't know why you would ever collect these no offense to anybody that does i just i look at these i don't feel any desire to go out and collect these um they are very high polyester which is not great it does not mean high quality it's usually a cheaper fabric it's a type of uh, sweat wicking fabric which might um, irritate some people a little bit um, with the shipping the way that it came and um, the in the customer service i've heard is not great uh, i've heard that if you want to send hats back to do an exchange you have to pay a restocking fee i mean it's just it's not it doesn't appear to me like a customer forward uh, company um, like like a lot of other uh, companies are but you know I really like the designs I like the colors um, I think this is probably my favorite and with this sort of faux leather uh, brim in here it's just yeah, it's nice it's just you're paying 50 52 dollars for these things the newsboy is not a real newsboy it's it's an ivy hybrid um and uh, i just i struggle to see the benefit of having something like this over something like this uh, this is just cheap this was probably made in either the same factory or very similar factory and i think this was 12 dollars and this is a higher wool content probably going to be able to wear it longer and it's also somewhat adjustable it's adjustable on the back i can throw this around in the winter this will help me a lot i know that they do make like cotton versions of this but i always talk about this if you're going to wear a suit if you're going to wear a dress shirt wear these don't wear baseball caps 
sometimes, you know, a lot of people don't want to wear fedoras, they don't want to wear you know, bowler hats, whatever, um, wear these, but do I want you to wear these specifically? I don't know. If you have money just burning a hole in your pocket, I say go for it. Um, other than that, they're good hats, but $52, you could have the same, if not similar quality at like 15 and I will say there's a nice community behind it and the people in the community are great from what I've seen and they get together and they share hats and stories and whatnot so if you want to be part of a community like that that's great but um, just as a whole you know buying the product not buying the name not buying the story not buying the community uh, $50 no I, I, maybe like $20 but anyways that's just my I'll see you all next time.